Hi everybody, I'm going to do a video about how to give your cat fluid um, with Wizard. So I'm going to start out by showing you his fluid bag. <clears throat> and he has chronic renal disease and unfortunately it got to the point where he started needing fluid and then deteriorated a little bit more. He was in the hospital for a little while. And now I give him fluid every day at home, a hundred milliliters. And I have a fluid bag, what you do may have seen this in some of my other videos. So you have this bag you get from your vet, or you get them from doctors, Foster and Smith, and he gets about this much fluid every day. You've got the line. First when you attach it, you attach this in here, and then you squeeze this lower portion a little till you get about half of this filled up with water, and then the water, or rather the fluid, um, drips out of here down the line and so here this is where you open it up down is closed open is open and then at the very end you've got the needle now unlike with injections you don't have you know which are going into the vein anyway not subcutaneous um, you don't have to worry about air on the line but you probably wouldn't want to have a lot of air so when you first do the line open you want to make sure there aren't like a huge amount of air bubbles in there or anything because that will go under their skin when you're doing that because this is done subcutaneously remember okay so here's wizard hi wizzy my berry cat eh he's the star can you see him wiz you ready he's pretty good about the fluid i'm gonna try and put the camera over here and see if you can get a view of what's going on probably not so let me try and put it over here. As you can see, everything is a little bit cluttered. Okay, so here is Wizard. And what I do is I go about from on his back around this area over here. I pull up the skin. First of all, you got a clean needle on here. This little plastic case comes up on the needle you can see so to keep the needle in place this one is a different fluid bag set than I had on the other one I like this one better and it's easier to see where the 100 milliliters ends because it doesn't have the half marks so you take off the cap of your needle you got your needle clean needle go to your cat now this can be done on shoulder blade area I do it a little bit lower down because I give him some injections epigen and B12 because he has anemia also from the kidney disease um, you can do it to one side or the other. If the cat really can't tolerate the 100 milliliters, you can do half on either side so they don't get that big bump and feel really uncomfortable. Um, I, the description that my DVM gave me of it said you could also do it on the hind leg, although I've never tried that. So what you do is you pull, pick up their skin. They've got a lot of skin to get sub-Q. And you make kind of like a tent. I don't know if you can see this well enough. Um, so it's kind of like a triangle. There's a little depression in here. Don't hold this too close together. You kind of let it open up a little so the needle doesn't go through one side. And then you kind of push forward with your needle and pull back with their skin. And in it goes. And then what I do, after it's in him, I kind of feel it to make sure that it's not coming out the other side and there's space around it so it's inserted properly. Good boy, Wizzy Bearish Day. You've been so good. And then... I just go to my line, and I'll show you this good boy, Wizzy. Go to my line, and I open up the line, which again is going up. Now I'm right-handed, I'm trying to do this with my left hand, so let me do it the other way around, it's too hard for me. Okay, here we go. Can you see that? Here we go. Push this up fluid will start coming out. Sometimes it takes a little while. Now you can see Wiz is a very good cat. He's just kind of sitting here, but I do keep my hand on him usually. And then you can see up here that the fluid is starting to drip out. And then you just monitor it as it's going. It usually takes about five or ten minutes. Mine seems to go more quickly than what they say. Um, and then you shut it off when it's done. So what I do usually, he's being so good, extra good, because he knows he's on TV or on YouTube TV today. 
<laughs> right, Wizzy? He's being so good for the video. He, no, he's, he's always a good boy, boy. Yes, he is. But what I do my, with my cat, even though he's obviously very, very well behaved, I kind of keep my hand on his neck area and pat him. I scratch his head and his chin. Because towards the end, he starts to get a little uncomfortable and he will kind of try to pull away sometimes. Right, Wizzy? Wizzy the bear bear, mommy loves you. Yes, you were such a good boy. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep an eye on the fluidies on the bag. Now while you're doing this, if you have trouble, you can actually, with the permanent marker, draw a line where you started and where you're supposed to go to each time. I used to do that. This bag I don't have as much trouble figuring it out because it's the line above the number. Hi, sweetie. Mommy loves you. Yes, mommy loves you. Fluidy is good for you. Yes, because it makes your kidneys function properly. Now, this is kind of like the equivalent of, um, not, it's not exactly dialysis, but it's like the home equivalent of dialysis that you can do for your cats and dogs and keep them, you know, healthy and happy for many years with chronic renal disease. So it's really like a lifesaver. You can do it for other things too. If you've taken your cat or dog to the DVM when they're sick, they often, and they're dehydrated, they'll often give them sub-Q fluids, just like this. But this is also something you can do at home, and also the Epigen injections or subcutaneous B12 injections, you can do those at home too. I did that with Tess, my first tortoise shell cat, and she had basically the same thing. Although when she became ill, she went into total kidney failure and was hospitalized for that. Here's a whizzy bear, eh? Yes, to the whizzy bear. Here's the whizzy bear. Wizard's like, why are you talking so much this time, Mom? Hmm? Yes, to look a boy. To look a boy, hey? Let me just check the level. Let's check the level. Can you see? Okay, sweetie. How much fluid you got? A lot? A little bit more, I think. Okay? Let me just check. Now you can see this is about at the 5, which is right about where I want it, so I'm going to stop it now because I was going from 4 to 5. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see yet, but there's like a lump, quite a large lump over here, and he's starting to get that, Mom, I don't want to do this anymore, look, which he usually gets around the end time when it ends. Okay, let's, let's turn it off. Okay, turn it off. Make sure it's pressed really hard to the end, otherwise it will drip out. Then you can take the needle out, and there you go. Now, if you didn't turn it off properly, you'll see some drops coming out. And then what I do... Good boy, wizard. What I do is I just put, pop the, the needle thing back on, whatever this is called, and then I will um, take the old needle off and I will put a new needle on, and then I'm set to go the next time I need to give him fluid. Now, I wanted to talk about some other things, but I think I'm going to do that in another video, and that was um, talking about what I did today. I took some feral cats that I feed to be neutered at a spay neuter clinic, which was free. Actually, I only ended up taking one because I was only able to trap one who I named Giorgio. So I'll talk more about that in my next video. So have a great night, everybody. Take care.